So this is the test to student view. And you know, I can do this without having done chapter two because I can skip around for this module. So, uh, so this is the instruction. I would uh, recommend that you read it carefully. And here's a bit of uh, information that um, I think a, a lot of people might not have realized how much it tells you. The thing about the one open-ended question, I liken this to uh, like a job interview question where the person asks you, so, uh, so this would be the interview question. Um, so tell me about yourself or tell me about your educational and professional experience. It's an open-ended question and you can almost guarantee that any job interview you go, you are gonna get that question. And uh, you have a question like that uh, with every essay timed assessment. One question where you can, even before I ask it, you can kind of know what the substance of the question will be. Um, knowing that might help you prepare on time. I think when I set the time limit at 20 minutes, um, I didn't presume that, but um, kind of preparing for it ahead of time might <laughs> help you save more of this 20 minutes for the less predictable second question. So um, so let me start this. So the open-ended question, the, the one question you see, it's gonna be the same question that you get when you start. So for this open-ended question, really what I'm looking for is your unique answer. There isn't one right answer. It's, uh, you know, it is in your own words. Um, so, you know, do your best to, to summarize. Um, I do have a word limit, so, you know, don't copy the entire textbooks into here. You can put the entire chapter in 200 words. You have to summarize. So, um, so uh, uh, you know, this time, uh, let me just give a, a genuine answer here. I'll give a genuine answer. So what my answer would be here is uh, uh, chapter three covers, don't know why these are show up. Um, uh, Newton's uh, three laws of motion. Oh, and uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation. Newton's uh, laws of motion. Um, um, uh, relates uh, or it introduces the force concept and relates the force uh, a push or pull or a pull uh, to the acceleration caused by the force. Newton's uh, third law of uh, motion in particular um, describes the, I don't know if I would call it surprising, uh, or I'll say it this way, Newton's third law of motion, sometimes confusingly stated as for every action, there is an equal and opposing reaction. The saving part here is that I said it's confusingly because this statement is not what I recommend. <laughs> um, uh, describes how objects interact. Uh, interact through force. Uh, yeah, it's, and uh, I guess I'll say um, chapter also, the chapter also described uh, several types of forces such as normal force, friction force. I think I covered the spring, did I cover spring force? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I might be bringing that in from chapter four. Yeah. <laughs> um, normal force, friction force. Uh, I feel like there should be, oh, and, uh, and gravitational force. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, oh, uh, uh, gravitational force, which is an inverse uh, square law of force. And I think this is a response that's on the uh, low end side. Let me do a word count. Uh, now, you know, I don't do word count with every answers. I just do it with the ones that I feel are too uh, too long. Is there, I guess notepad is too simple to have word count tool. Let me see if I can bring up stuff in Word without. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, um, I guess unless you 
thought you wrote too much. Yeah, so 87 words. So this is on the short end, but um, this is probably, um, um, so, you know, if I read this, <laughs> I would probably give full credit to this uh, answer because uh, I, I am summarizing in 200 or fewer words, key points. Uh, sometimes an answer can be too short and miss key points, but here I am describing uh, all the most important things, you know, it turns all four <laughs> laws that's covered in the chapter. And, oh, and I guess I forgot, wait, do, do I need to talk about centripetal force? No, I, I don't think I really need to. Um, yeah. And you, know, and, you know, chapter covers other things like uh, microgravity, which appeared in one of your essay questions, essay assignments and, um, and other things, but um, the intent here is not that it needs to be comprehensive. It's that it illustrates what you learned, uh, what you consider to be highlights of the chapter. And uh, yeah, so do your best there. So that's a, um, that open-ended question is one question you can, uh, you will always see for every chapter um, time to set the essay time assessment for the chapter two you will see basically the same question that relates to chapter two um yeah so now i have 14 minutes remaining for the remainder of the essay assessment uh it, i got the question about the talking donkey and uh, i guess i'll read it out loud uh talking donkey refuses to pull on a heavy cart arguing with you that it's meaningless for him to pull it because for every action there is equal and opposite reaction i literally didn't see this before i put that up there um according to newton's third law he is arguing that as he pulls on the cart action there will be a reaction force on the cart opposite in direction so the net force on the cart will be zero meaning that the cart won't move according to newton's second law according to the talking donkey you know that this talking donkey must be wrong because when you pull on a cart it does move if you pull it hard enough clarify the donkey's misunderstanding of newton's third law and correctly identify the reaction force to the donkey's action force. Donkey pulls on cart and the actual effect of this reaction force. By the way, uh, when we used to do paper exam, this uh, uh, question used to ask for like a diagrams. On this online format, you can't really draw diagrams. So uh, questions will seek more of a word description than a diagram. So uh, I do, as you're reading the question, I do want you to um, be careful to note all the instructions because it says clarify the donkey's misunderstanding and it says correctly identify the reaction force pair. So I uh, look for those things as I grade. <laughs> so, uh, so let me put an answer here. Um, so the donkey's misunderstanding of Newton's third law. Um, uh, the uh, donkey didn't fully grasp uh, Newton's third law is a law of interaction. That is, it describes a pair of forces not on a single object, but instead uh, two different or a pair of, of objects that are interacting with each other. Um, it is true that the sum of the action force and the reaction force will be zero, but because the action force and the reaction force act on different bodies, the net force on an object due to a particular action force can be non-zero. The reaction force is on another object, uh, yeah, on another object and da, da, da. Um, So that's my summary of a donkey's misunderstanding. 
part one um, and correctly identify the reaction force pair. Um, the, the reaction force pair to donkey pulls on the cart. And I think here I deliberately described in a way where um, people think of it. Did I? Maybe. I don't know. Um, so, you know, one thing about action reaction to make sure that you understand, it's not it's not a cause and effect. So if you think a donkey pulls on the cart, that's the action and the reaction is cart accelerate. Um, you didn't understand, you turn start law correctly. Because the action force and reaction force, they are not cause and effect. They occur simultaneously. One doesn't cause the other. There are two sides of one thing that happens all at once. Um, so as the donkey pulls on the cart, the thing that happens uh, is a cart uh, pulls back on the donkey. And, and in fact, because action reaction is not a cause effect relationship, you can actually reverse these two um, things and it should still make some sense. Like if I said instead uh, the action force is a uh, cart pulls on the donkey because you know cart is around the donkey so as donkey tries to move forward the cart thing is going to just hold the donkey back so cart pulls on the donkey as donkey tries to move forward and um, and the uh, reaction force is donkey pulls on the cart because the cart is pulling back on the donkey the reaction is that donkey ends up pulling on the cart uh, is another way to describe the same interaction. Um, and, and in fact, this is why the donkey finds that it's uh, harder to move forward. Oh, yeah. Wait. Uh, I don't know if I want to do the bonus point question. You don't have to anyway. No, I kind of ignore it when I grade. That's why it's a bonus point, meaning it's not required. This is why the donkey finds that it's harder to move forward when the uh, cart is attached to the donkey. So yeah, I think I have some time left. I have eight minutes left. And uh, yeah, I, I guess that's fine. So. Um, when you feel like you're done, you um, feel like you answered everything. So we did the essay uh, timed assessment. 20 minutes should be on a relatively long end. I think uh, if you have studied and, you know, if you don't need to look through your textbook as you're answering this, you should find that 20 minutes is plenty of time. Uh, I was almost tempted to pare this down to one, 10 minutes, but uh, I think I'm... Uh, the speed at which I type isn't necessarily representative of the average speed at which people type. So I gave people more time than um, I would do need to if I, I were the one typing. So, so I, I think 20 minutes for essay assignment, essay assessment will end up being enough time for most people. But if somehow you're finding that that's not the case or um, if uh, somehow you have difficulty typing quickly, uh, maybe you are working on a mobile device then do let me know um, so that we can work something out. Now, with essay timed assessment, I think, does it give you the score? Um, huh, it doesn't show you the score, which I'm glad because uh, uh, if, if it were showing you the score, it would have told you that it's a zero out of 10 and that could have been very confusing. Um, in fact, even though it might still, this is the vagaries of uh, LTI. And I think because of LTI, there might still be a score here. Uh, essay time, oh wait, I don't have anything here yet. Huh, so maybe it won't be sending me a score. Um, if it does, and if it, there's something that says zero out of 10, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So you'll get notification, oh, your essay time assessment is graded and you got zero out of 10, <laughs> ignore it because it's just an automatic thing. Um, uh, and I guess guarantees that uh, zero is a score I use only for um, blank answers. 
So even if your answers are super terrible, the minimum you would have gotten is two out of 10, one out of five for each. So this zero is an indicator that it hasn't been graded yet. And here's another thing that will tell you that um, it hasn't been graded yet, which is that when you view work, this is how you review your work. It's how you view feedback for your work. You will see no feedback at all. That's because I haven't graded it. And so I'll, I might uh, talk about this more, but this is my grading process. Uh, let me do it here. So I'm just going to uh, move this off the screen briefly so that I can navigate to the test students uh, grade item and not show any. Well, I guess there's no, no one's graded here yet, but I don't want to show who's done this already or not. OK, so this is the screen I see when I grade. Um, this is the assessment attempt. I see all these detailed stuff, and I see this. I, all right, this seems short enough. Um, I don't have to do word count. If I see something that's like three, four times this, then I'll start doing word count to see if uh, it's a way over 200 and I should start taking points off. <laughs> and so full credit. And then here, I'll read it. And if I, mean, I just wrote it. Oh, let me compare it to the answer key. Did I? Oh, oh, you know, I think this answer key says this because I'm still thinking of um, the one version in the diagram. So but it says actual reaction forces the force that the cart exerts on the donkey, which is why I don't give it. Yeah. Do I? Why? The answer key doesn't explain what donkey's misunderstanding is. I might have to rewrite this. Um, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I. Well, yeah, 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 it's fine. I don't think it's relevant. <laughs> so I'm giving you for credit. Um, and uh, because uh, I think, uh, I don't want to bother with the score. So in the feedback, I will tell you the score on individual part. Uh, it work. So uh, when I save change here, it's going to take me to grade the book. So I'm going to do that off screen or off the shared screen. And, uh, oh wait, it didn't take me back. Okay, um, all right, I'm still here. Let me go into student view and show you what the feedback looks like. So um, this is one of those things where it's really hard to find the feedback, and this is how you will find it. If you click on review work, um, you will see the attempt, assessment attempt, and you will see the feedback here. And sometimes I might give you a per question feedback, you will see below each question. Uh, sometimes I'll do that if uh, I need to comment extensively on a particular question. So when you see this, that's when you know, oh, uh, it's been graded. So, um, and uh, yeah. And if I look at the grade book, now you should see that. Um, and uh, so as I grade it, the Canvas will also send you a notification takes some time. Um, Canvas will send you a notification, oh, it's been graded, and now it's 10 out of 10. And that's when it's an actual score. So, so that's the demonstration of the timed assessment. And just so that you know what to look forward to. So uh, these are due on Friday. I recommend that you get it done by then. And somehow, if you don't get to it, then uh, late passes are enabled. So you can use a lay pass on these to get them done over the weekend. But you know, uh, if you already take them before, you know, on the due date. And uh, this is more of an item for me. Uh, I need to reach out to everyone to schedule individual one-on-one -on -one meetings. That's a follow-up meeting on this timed assessment. We'll go over uh, what I see in your work. Um, if your work looks great, then we might have. I might have some follow-up questions. Go more in depth. Um, if uh, there are things that were wrong, then we might talk about that. But um, so this is the required meeting for this class. Um, your video has to be on, and I'll be checking your ID for this first meeting. And uh, yeah, so, but you, you'll hear about this uh, this weekend. So I'll leave that there.